Okay, let's get into mountain pose and start with our warm-ups. Toes straight ahead. Make sure your knees go toward your second toes and then straighten them. Sitting bones toward the floor, core activated. So bring those ribs toward your spine and up. Heel things start to lengthen. Base of the skull, base of the spine. Stretch apart, shoulders back and down. And just close your eyes and focus inward as you breathe, drawing in energy and awareness. Exhaling stress and tension. And just feel your body. Keep lengthening through your spine. And then let's do our warm-ups. Inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch out through your fingertips. Keep the shoulders down. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, stretch into the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press the hands toward the floor as you lift your heart, stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too much. Exhale, pivot on over, and just deepen as much as you'd like into your forward position. Just focus on what's going on inwardly through that lower back, maybe the knees. Move your chin around, check your neck out. And then bend your knees and work your way back up. And again, shoulders down as you lift your heart and push your head back. No lifting that chin. Spread your toes out. Keep breathing as you lift your heart into that nice back bend. And then inhale upright. Release your arms and just take a moment focusing on how you're feeling. Again, arms reaching out. Hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp the opposite way behind you. So other finger outside, lift your heart, stretch your head back, and don't forget to keep breathing. And then pivot at your hips, arms coming up, getting those shoulders working a little more. Chin circling, bring your head down towards your legs, maybe a little further. If you're sitting bones a little higher, spread your toes. Keep the base of your toes and heels evenly supporting you as you come back all the way up. And again, chest high, shoulders down, coming into, into a back bend in mountain pose. Stretch it out. Inhale upright, release your arms. And again, just feel the sensations through your body. Circle those shoulders a couple of times, getting things loosened up a little bit more. And then bring both arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them in class. Bring your arms next to your ears. Stretch up. Pull those shoulders and shoulder blades down, sitting bones down, but base of the skull and crown up. Get everything stretching. Keep both shoulders and hips forward and lean straight to the side for that opening through the ribs. Push your foot down that you're leaning away from. Get an extra stretch out through your head and your fingertips. Keep breathing into that side that's opening. Inhale back upright. Keep the shoulders down as you switch the other hand to the front. Again, arms by your ears, everything straight. Stretch them out and lean to that opposite side. Your breath, stretching, lengthening, breathing, and push the foot you're leaning away from down. Maximize for your body. Don't forget to breathe. And then inhale back up, exhale, and into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down. And again, returning to mountain pose. Take a moment feeling your ribs a little bit more opened. Let those shoulders relax down and stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch up as you breathe, exhale and twist. Another breath, exhale on over. Take a moment and breathe as you lift your sitting bones and pull your body toward your leg. See if the weight's on both feet as evenly as you can keep it. Exhale any tension. And then on an inhale, work your way up in the twist. 
and into that upper body for a back bend, bringing your elbows back, shoulders down. Remember, no pressure in your lower back while you're twisted, especially. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch things round on your arms. Shoulders down, stretch the spine apart for a twist to the other side. And again, breathe in and exhale over. Take a breath or two there. Lift your sitting bones, stretch your legs, relax your shoulders, but keep the shoulder blades toward your waist. And again, on an inhalation, come on back up in your twist, weight on both feet as you lift your heart. Stretch your elbows and head back, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And remember, not too much in that lower back. Take a breath. And inhale, coming up, exhale around to the center, arms extended up toward the ceiling. Keep them next to your ears, pivot at your hips, and just come into your forward position, parallel to the floor. And then just drop into ragdoll, lift your sitting bones, let the back of your legs get a good stretch. Think about lifting your kneecaps towards your thighs, tightening the front of your thighs so those hamstrings get a good stretch. Pull in a little deeper if you want, with the hands behind your legs. And then hands back to the center and knees bent slightly. Ribs up and sitting bones down to wind back from the bottom of the spine all the way into mountain pose. As you get there, just feel your body. Keep stretching the spine apart and don't forget to breathe. Take your hands on your back, heels of the palms at your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down towards your hips. Everything else in mountain pose, stretch it apart. Bring your elbows back behind you even more, feeling that heart chest open a little bit. Press the hands into your low back just gently and look up. Keep the hips over your ankles and push your head further back, coming into a back bend as deeply as your body wants. Take a breath, just relax. Stretch it out through the top of your head. And then chin toward your chest and come on back upright. Release your arms. Circle them around a couple of times through the shoulders. And again, separate your feet. Angle those toes away, keeping those knees going toward your toes. Bend them, hands above your knees. A little twist. So we're bringing the shoulder across, turning the whole body to the side as you do that. So shoulder toward the knee, hip going back behind you, looking toward the side, turn your whole body, not just your neck. Deepen into that twist just gently, as much or a little as you need. And then exhale, turn back to the center, straighten it out, stretch the spine apart again, and bring the shoulder toward the opposite knee, hip going the other direction. Again, turning your whole body, looking toward the side. Take a breath. Relax into it as deeply as you like. And then come back to the center. Tuck in your chin slightly and come on back up. And toes to the front into mountain pose. Circle the shoulders again, getting them releasing. Let's go to a wall or door, whatever is nearby. And put your hands right in front of your shoulders. And then bring them up the length of your palm above that. And take a good step back behind you. Push the sitting bones back so your hips are above your ankles. And bring those ribs and chest down toward the floor. But keep your head reaching up towards your hands. If you don't have a wall or door conveniently located, you can do it on the back of the chair or a windowsill. Your hands will be lower, so you'll need a bigger step back, and you'll need to stretch the head forward and the hips back from that position. But drop your ribs, drop your chest. Take a breath. Exhale, deepen into that back bend, maybe a little bit more. Push the hips one way and the crown the other way. Deepen as much as feels good. 
Bend your knees slightly, tuck your chin in a little bit, and walk your feet back toward wherever your support is. And then come back into mountain pose on the mat. Go straight ahead, spread them out. Bring your hands toward your heart. Inhale, bring in the hands up toward the ceiling. Thumbs coming back. Look at them, lifting your heart. Exhale. Follow your hands to your heart, pivoting all the way over. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten in that halfway up stretch. Shoulder blades towards your waist, lengthen your spine, base of the skull and base of the spine, stretch apart. Elbows, knees, and spine as straight as you can get them. Bend your knees, exhale, hands to the floor, inhaling, coming back, hands to your heart and toward the ceiling, and another little back bend, looking at your thumbs. Come on, upright, separate your hands, swan dive forward, and drop in your other thumb. And all the way to the floor for our transition into child's pose. And toward the floor, shoulders down, stretch your spine with those knees together, or separate the knees a little bit more. Relax, get good forward bend. And then inhale, coming back up, slide off, and bring your legs out to the front. Shoulders, shoulder blades back and down, press out through the bottoms of your foot, feet. Knees toward your toes, toward your thighs, back of the legs stretching nice and straight along the floor. We're going to warm up the hips. So bring your foot up to your opposite thigh and let the knee come down toward the floor. Feel that outside of your hip working a little bit. We're gonna bring that leg over to the side if that's feeling tight, otherwise just leave it at the front, but knee and toes stay up toward the ceiling. This knee comes down, you can add weight, but not pressure with your hands if that is something you'd like to do. And just feel that hip getting a little bit more released as you allow it to happen. Remember, never force it. And then foot and knee into your hands or pull your arms around and move back and forth for that hip rotator, rotating it to the front and back. Take a moment just feeling that working, getting a little bit warmer in that hip joint. Make it more intense if you love it, higher or closer or not. Personal practice, especially with your hips. And then release, keep that core active, supporting your spine as you reach your crown up and shoulders down and feel the difference in the two hips. So yeah, we gotta warm the other one up too. Bring your foot up, let the knee come down. Again, notice one side may be tighter than the other. That's okay, that happens because we're creatures of habit. We use our bodies habitually getting into chairs and cars and desks and things. And so one side often is tighter than the other. Just let it relax. Injuries also sometimes affect that. So just allow whatever needs to happen in your body to relax as much as it will. You may have that knee way up in the air. That's okay. Just do what's right for you. Knee and toes up on your front leg or pull it over to the side, but still knee and toes up. Feel that hip joint releasing maybe a little more. And when you're ready, foot and knee into your hands or pull it in and get it moving. Hip joint just rotating gently, getting that leg moving. Higher or closer when you feel like that's appropriate for you or not, personal practice. And as always, just exhale and bring that leg back out. Feel your hips a little bit easier. That's bring the feet together into butterfly, letting the knees come toward the floor. Sitting bones behind you, clasp those toes, pull the heels in close to you. Just lengthen up through the spine. And then we're going to bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Bend the elbow up above your head. Hold the elbow, turn the hand to the back, and bring it down onto your shoulder. Take your other hand, pull that arm back so that you're getting that shoulder 
armpit area opening even more. You can keep the hand there, pulling it back. Keep the head upright. Remember, the whole spine is still in mountain pose. You're forgetting those legs because we want those hips to be gently opening with the weight of your knees coming down. So take a moment and breathe. And then release the hand back up across your head, upright, that palm out as you lower it back down. And notice the difference in your two arms. So yes, we have to balance and do the other side. Hand to the floor, palm at shoulder level, turn it palm up and above your shoulder, bend the elbow, hold it in place, and turn that hand back and down onto your shoulder. Everything's straight, core still supporting you. Pull that elbow back further. That hand will slide down your back along your shoulder. Take a breath, stretch up through the crown. Keep holding that elbow or not, your choice. Open that area under your armpit. Take a moment and breathe. Just relax, shoulders down. You can circle that other arm around if it's tense. And then bring the hand back up across your head, straight up toward the ceiling, palm out and down to your sides. Shoulders rolling around just a couple of times. And then bring your hands behind you. Fingertips right under your shoulders, palms down if that works for you. And then lift your heart a little bit more. And maybe those knees will come even further toward the floor. But remember, don't force it. Just let it happen. Take a breath. Exhale tension. And then releasing your hands, lift your knees and bring them back straight out into mountain pose. Take a breath. Tension out. Lift those sitting bones behind you. And we're going to do both your hips and your shoulders next cow's head pose. So we're going to bend the right knee. And keep it going straight toward the front with the heel back near your hip-ish. It's not under your hip. It's out to the side. And then bend your left knee and put it right above as much as you can, that right knee. So yeah, you'll feel those hip joints. Get those feet across from each other. They may be further out or further back towards your hips. Just depends on what your body does. Those knees will probably never touch. That's okay. Only people with amazingly loose hip joints will do that. Don't force it. So we've got the left knee on top. We're going to bring the right arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand again above your shoulder. This time just bend it toward the middle of your head or neck, and then slide it down. You can take that other hand again and pull it in. Push your head back into that hand because we have a tendency to round forward otherwise. You want to keep the spine straight and that elbow going straight up, the hand coming down, sliding along your spine. If that's working, you can stay there. Work bring your left arm around and see if you can clasp your hands behind you. If that works, that's fine. If it doesn't, just hold your shirt and get them as close as you can. So again, elbows in, both of them toward the spine, and then stretch them away. Feel those shoulders working. Take a breath, just relaxing those shoulders. As you do, the hips will release a little bit also, and maybe make it a little bit easier on that lower body in the position. Keep your head pushing back, no rounding that spine. Take a breath, exhale any tension. And then releasing your hands, bring your arms back around, circle them a couple of times, feeling those shoulders release, and bring your legs back to the front into the step position. Feel your body. Notice your hips and your shoulders were working. We're going to have to do that again, though, and balance things. So left knee back bends out to the front, get that heel back near your hip as far as it wants to go. Right knee above. Again, stack them as much as you can. Make your adjustments, get those sitting bones behind you. Just relaxing. Core active, shoulders relaxing down, around toward the ceiling. Right knee on top, left arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. 
Keep the shoulder going down, bend the elbow, hand into the neck area along your spine. Pull the elbow in, get it nice and open through that whole side of your body. Push your head back, remember, don't round your spine. Take your other hand, wrap it around. Again, see if you can clasp. You may be able to on one side and not the other, or neither, or both. It's just whatever your arms and shoulders will do. Take a breath, head back, elbows in, stretch them apart. Relax through the hips as well. Take a few breaths. Any tension, just let it go wherever you're feeling it. Relax into that position as deeply as your body moves. Keep the head pushing back, the elbows stretching it. When you're ready, breathe. And as you exhale, release those hands, circle the shoulders a couple of times. Feel your body relax. Oh, wait. We've got to release those legs and hips as well. Back into staff pose. Take a moment there. Just feel your spine, your shoulders, your hips, everything working a little bit more. Sitting bones back behind you. Take a moment to breathe. We're going to do another seated posture. So bring your right foot up as far toward your hip joint as you can and let this knee come down toward the floor. Now, if you've got padding, a cushion or something, you can put it behind you and that knee will come further down, which will be beneficial because we're going to try lotus. So this is half lotus with one foot up. We're going to bring the other foot, if you can, up onto your thigh. So just kind of work it gently and see if that happens. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just keep the foot in front of the other shin. And this is, you know, that famous yogi pose. Some people love it. I personally don't. But, you know, sometimes you might want to try it if you think your hips are a little bit warmer today. And it might be a little bit easier. So get those feet as much up into that hip joint as it works for you or not. One only is fine. That's called half lotus. Shoulders relaxing, core still active, spine still straight. Don't forget to keep breathing. And then release your leg and the other leg back into stack position. Take a moment and breathe. And of course, we're going to have to do that to the other side because, yeah, we balance the body. Keep the core active and the spine stretching apart. Bring that left foot up as high toward the hip joint as you can. Knee coming down. Remember, you can pad behind you to get that pelvic tilt, letting that knee come further down. That makes it easier to get the other foot up. And then bring the other foot in. And if it works on this side, it may not. One side may be easier than the other. But just you know, see what happens in your body. Let those heels come in, feet in towards your hip joints, and the knees down toward the floor as much as they want to do. Shoulders back and down, core active, spine stretching apart, sitting on slightly behind you, shoulders relaxing, crown reaching up, and don't forget to keep breathing. So again, as deeply into that or not as you want. The other foot can be just right out in front and half lotus. And then release, bringing the feet again back to the center. Take a moment to breathe. Feel your hips. Yeah, they've been a little bit work today. And let's get those sitting bones behind again, doing our diving dolphin, always a favorite. Bring your right foot into your inner left thigh and the left heel back near your hip. Stretch up, get that spine apart for our twist, turning toward the right knee, the first one you did. Hands to your leg or the floor, ribs coming in, tuck your chin slightly, reach your forehead down towards your knee as you exhale. Move your face forward, crown toward the ceiling, but keep stretching that back of your neck. Lifting your heart, coming into a back bend as you inhale up to the sun and the sky. And just a couple of times, diving under, exhaling, inhaling up, stretching into the back bend, and allowing your whole spine and breath to do the work. As you come up again, just pause at the top, exhale, turning to the center, releasing 
your legs and getting ready to dive our dolphin back the other way. Sitting bones behind you, shoulders back and down, stretch that spine apart, bring your left foot to your inner right thigh and the heel back behind you. Remember that hip on the second side goes up a little so you can twist. Stretch it apart, exhale, turning toward your left knee. Exhale, ribs back, chin slightly tucked, stretch the back of your body through the neck as well, down to the knee, inhale, face forward, crown up, back bending as you rise. And again, dive your dolphin down and leaping up, just like those playful dolphins, letting your whole spine work as you round forward and as you inhale, Heart high in the back bend coming up. Pause at the top, exhale to the center, and again, release your legs. Take a moment feeling all that twist energy. And we'll go to the end of the mat with our feet. Core activated to roll down onto the floor into reclined integration. Just let your body soften and sink, shoulders down. Take a breath. Exhaling and relaxing. Hands out to T position, palms up or down, or just doing a little twist. Sitting bones toward your heels, knees bending straight up, heels back toward your hips, feet up off the floor. Just roll your knees over to one side, turn your head toward the opposite side. Relax those shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. Tension out, just let your body soften and sink. And of course, on your own, hold the twists longer, but we don't have that time. So heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, straighten things out, and twist to the opposite side. Knees coming down, head turning the other direction. Keep those shoulders down for that middle back, knees toward the floor, lower back, and head turning neck area. Just deepen your twist as much or as little as you need today. And of course, heels toward your hips as you roll back onto your back, feet to the floor, sliding them out, getting ready for our final relaxation. Let those shoulders sink, turn your hands palms up, allowing those shoulders to relax. Let that natural curve of your back return. Stretch out through the base of the toes, turn the toes slightly toward each other, and let those hips relax completely as you release your legs and feet. Move your head gently side to side. Circle your chin around a couple of times, just letting that neck area relax. Take a breath, stretch out through the spine. Exhale, soften and sink. Just let your body grow heavy. With each exhalation, just sink deeper into that earth support and let your body go. Deep breaths, exhaling and relaxing. Focus inward, allow your awareness to release your body. As you do, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. No need to focus on the past or the future or any content of those thoughts, just let them drift away without attention. Deep breathing, letting those thoughts float like your breath disappear. As you breathe more deeply and allow your body to soften gently, sinking deeper into the earth's support, allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward, find that peace within it, feel your body, feel your mind. Just take a few moments to be peace.
If you have longer to relax today, just take all the time you have. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deep, just begin moving your body gently, stretching more completely as you breathe and stretch. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, while you're sitting bones toward your heels and your heels up toward your hips, knees up toward your heart, wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you've had enough appreciation and hug, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.